sorry I'm late. So in this video I'm going to be filling out the end of journal reflections at the end of the Bullies Out Weekly Gratitude Journal. So let's have a look at them. So the first part of the reflection is my favourite moments, my thoughts and what I learnt. So my favourite moments... I wish I could say it was something other than watching a load of Charlie Chaplin movies and eating cookies, but actually, time which you enjoy wasting is not time wasted. Like we are in lockdown, lockdown sucks, and there's all this internet pressure to be like, oh, lose a ton of weight, learn a language, do a lot of super awesome productive stuff. And if that's what makes you happy, then awesome. But if watching a load of Charlie Chaplin movies and eating a load of cookies makes you happy, then honestly, you do that. Like I don't know if like. Yeah. And next one is my thoughts, to which my response is, you probably mean the ones not about Kate. So only about 2% of my thoughts. But I'd say thoughts on the gratitude journal is that they actually really helped me to just look at things which I was taking for granted and to be grateful for them. I know it sounds so like pointless and obvious, but it's, I, I, I just think it's a really nice thing to do. Like, Often it's the pointless and obvious things which, because they're pointless and obvious, we stop doing them, which sucks. I'd say that what I learned doing this gratitude journal is that maybe I don't challenge myself quite enough. And this is different for everyone. Some people challenge themselves too much. I'm not saying that you don't challenge yourself enough. This is a very personal thing. I just felt maybe because it was locked down, I was a little bit like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Which is what I found. But don't, that doesn't mean I'm telling you to push yourself. It's just what I found. I think that a really good thing which the gratitude journal does do is it leads you to reflect and it leads you to notice things which you wouldn't ordinarily notice. So the next part of the month reflection is looking forward. So it's goals and intentions, things to improve and looking forward to. There is nothing to look forward to. Yeah, like, actually, actually, yeah, like this is the really good thing about doing this gratitude journal is that you end up like questioning your automatic negative thoughts and thinking no actually I'm thinking all this really horrible toxic stuff but there is stuff to look forward to. Things to improve, well be on time with my videos probably one of them but also I'd say maybe challenging myself a bit more, pushing myself a healthy amount and just generally trying to get more out of my day. As for goals and intentions I'd say one of the things that came up on a lot of my gratitude journals which I did weekly was that I needed to cherish the people around me. So I'm gonna put as my goal and intention that I'm going to really cherish the people around me and be grateful for them. And finally, affirmations. I would say, I am awesome, you are awesome, we're all awesome, awesomeness.